In 2020, I bought 50 books off of the Kindle store and that in itself is not an issue, except I only read 19 of them. At the beginning of 2020, I decided that I wanted to get back into reading like many people do at the beginning of the year. I started off things strong and then lockdowns hit. And so I kept reading more and more and I started watching more booktube. So booktube is the bookish side of YouTube where different creators do lots of things with books and it's a great motivator. However, they recommend seven plus books a week and everybody in the comments also loves to read. So between the creator and the comments, you feel like you're missing out on something if you don't read what they're reading. And so I found myself downloading and saving so many different books that I was kind of interested in but also just didn't want to miss out on either that specific book or just getting to talk about reading like it's a personality trait. <laughs> Is that hard? I, that's for me. That's something that I struggled with. I know that for me, I liked being a part of the reading community. And so to be a part of the reading community, you have to read an obscene amount. You don't have to, it feels like you have to. And so I did. But in the words of Jack Edwards, Buying books and reading books are two entirely different hobbies. I will not hear anything else. And I learned that the hard way. So for some people, having a whole load of books that they don't plan on reading immediately works. For example, Jack thinks of his book collection as a wine cellar. So he doesn't need to buy books and then read them immediately. He can buy them and store them and wait for the right moment to read them. That didn't work for me. Personally, my book collection felt more like an unnecessary fast fashion haul. As a kid, buying books was such a luxury for me. I would get maybe one book a month and then the rest I would read from the library, which was great. And that taught me to really value every single book in my collection. 2020 undid that for me. I got a little too excited with buying books online. And also, like I said, I felt FOMO with the reading community, but also with all the emails I was getting from all these different services I signed up for. For example, like Amazon First Reads, where you get discounts every month on select books, or BookBub, which lets you know which ebooks are on sale. I was just FOMO all over the place. I still gained a lot from the books that I read. Reading has been a way for me to process my emotions and my experiences. And so I definitely needed that in 2020 and I needed that in 2021 and I still need that today. So I'm, I'm glad that I've been reading a lot, but overall my mindset wasn't where I wanted it to be. I got so caught up in the read, 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 bye, bye, bye culture of booktube and now I'm trying to do better. And while I still love to watch booktube, I'm trying to be more intentional in not becoming somebody who hoards books or somebody who takes reading for granted. So the deal that I made myself last year was that I could buy any book I wanted if I finished all the books on my Kindle TBR. Now I didn't have to read them all the way through, but I did have to give them a shot. And if I didn't like them, I could DNF them. I could do not finish them. But even that was really a struggle because there were so many titles. There were comics, there were nonfiction books, there were poetry collections, there were books in translation. It was a wide range, so there was a lot to get through. Let me also admit that I did end up buying one book for a book club that I was a part of, and then a friend also gifted me one book. Overall, I read 37 books in 2021. The extra books came from the beginning of the year before I started the challenge. And if you want to see my thoughts on any and all of the books that I read, you can check out my Goodreads page. The summary is that there were a lot of books that I liked, but there were a lot of really terrible ones, ones that I can't recommend or wouldn't recommend. And there were ones that were really boring, but I finished. I finished and I'm never going back. <laughs> this year, I do plan on buying books. That's one thing that I was very much looking forward to for 2022. I have bought three books so far. They were all free. And is it still about buying if they're free? I don't know. But I read all three of them already and I can't recommend any of them. There are still 11 more reading months in this year. So I have hope. If you have any recommendations for books that I should read, please let me know down in the comments.